lot more. 8,000 uh, for 12 million families. Who, what makes up those families in the first place? What makes up those households? For six months, how reaching will this effect go? Not too much. Also, we need to be able to tie the things we give around outcomes. I would have wanted us to be able to put more as regards reducing the price of food in the market rather than giving this handout that you will give for a while and it will go. So what are the outcomes we can tie them around then? I keep referring to God. I keep referring to Brazil, Bolsa Familia. Tying them around education outcomes, some people will argue. But also look at the terrain in Nigeria. As regards farmers not getting enough uh, irrigation, like I was saying before, build a dam per district. You know, try as much as possible to bolster agricultural prospects around there. And I saw there that you want to give 70 billion to lawmakers to aid new. No, let's reduce that money. You see, these people have rich enough. They've done well for themselves. Let's cut that money and give it more to the people. Because these people have big convoys and all of that. No, you can't be telling us to tighten our belt and we're hearing 70 billion being given to lawmakers. No, I'm not anti-lawmakers, but it's a desperate time. And in fact, let's even stretch the argument by saying, why can't we cut it to one house rather than having, you know, two houses, the, the Senate and the House of Representatives? No, because you're giving 70 billion to lawmakers to aid in the work of the newcomers. I'm not saying it's not necessary, but let's cut even more. The other issue that has been raised is that money will be provided for 12 million households, right? 18,000 naira per, 8, per, per month. 8, no, is it 8,000? 8, 8,000. Per month. Okay, what difference? $10. What difference can that make? The conditional cash transfer, President Tinubu in meeting with uh, the class of uh, 1999 governors, said, oh, okay, opportunities will be provided for households and the conditional cash transfer will not go haywire as he did under President Buhari. Let us state that now as a point of fact. Okay, how is he going to make sure that, that, uh, that I will get my own uh, 8,000 naira per month, for example? <laughs> Let's start with that. Take a little story. No, because what they call the uh, social register, you know, does not accommodate enough people. They talk about poor and vulnerable Nigerians. Who identifies those poor and vulnerable Nigerians? And finally, I make the point made by Frank Shaibo, the spokesperson for, for Atiku Abubakar. What Frank Shaibo is saying simply is the point that, look, this uh, conditional cash transfer should not be an opportunity for people to divert public funds. So President Tinubu has to pay attention to that. But his uh, communications team, they are very good on rhetorics, on writing speeches, you know, I've seen that. They are much better than the Buhari team. But we are not looking for speeches and rhetoric and uh, communications organization. As an ancestor, I can comment on that and uh, take a position on that. But Nigerians are not looking for rhetoric, presidential rhetoric. They are looking for concrete actions, transparency,